Hi, this is Aaron with Zolotech. Today I wanted to show you Google Maps on the MyTouch 3G on Android. This is the new version of Google Maps that has the navigation built in. Um, I also wanted to compare it to the iPhone and kind of give you an idea of what the differences are. So here is Maps. I'll touch that and open it. And we'll wait a second. So the blue dot located me. Uh, let's go to Show on Map. So this is going to tell me how to get to a certain place. The GPS is on. Now I don't know if you can see that, but this icon right there um, is showing me GPS is currently on. And here I have the zoom buttons. I can't pinch uh, to zoom on the on the My Touch. The Hero will will allow it, but this does not. But it's okay. I found it to be acceptable to use the plus minus. And you can see the maps is very smooth. Moves around very well. Um, and if I hit menu, I can get do directions, uh, layers, my location, join latitude, more, and then we can clear and there's help and about, that sort of thing. So let's go ahead and do directions. Now we can search directions. If we tap this, we can search directions um, by typing them in, or even, I believe we could do that. Uh, on, on the droid you can do it by speaking it's a little bit more difficult to do that here but let's go ahead and hit go this is to a local church uh, we'll go ahead and hit navigate now if I do show on map it's just gonna show but once I hit navigate we go to navigation which is really an awesome application that I can't wait till it comes to the iPhone because it's it's really a, a very n interesting application in that it gives you turn by turn if you're not familiar with it it gives you turn by turn once you're done with the turn by turn it shows you you can choose and show like the um, the actual Google map view so it looks like you're driving down the road with the satellite view which is really cool the other thing it does if you have street view in your area when you get to a location and you're close to it it will switch to street view and show you the street view which is just something that's really incredible um, in how it integrates Google Maps with everything it's it's really a great idea and a great application now I can't speak to the accuracy of it but overall it's pretty cool so here's the turn by turn that's kind of a general you know head north um, searching now if we hit this button um, it, it's not following or it's not finding the signal so it's hard to have you hear it talk and that sort of thing um, or it's not finding GPS because I'm inside a brick building so it's a little bit difficult but that's the, the navigation app now you know the navigation on er, with Google Maps on iPhone is actually pretty good, but it doesn't talk to you. It doesn't have this feature, that's for sure. Now there we go. It's, it, it looks like it might have found us. And uh, we'll switch to map view. So you can see it's pretty similar. This is definitely updated and more accurate. And so it's it's searching for us. It's finding us. Um, screen is smaller on the Android phone or on the my touch uh, but not unacceptable um, you know it's it's pretty good the directions are going to be about the same however on here you know you you do actually have the nav points when you get to that it will change it will tell you to to veer to the right that sort of thing and uh, I'll be testing that out more in a few days but just want to kind of show you and see now it's rerouting and I don't know why but uh, that's pretty much it now the cool thing is if I hit home and go back to the main screen. The GPS is on. If I use this drop down right here, I can go to switch, uh, I can go right to ongoing. I don't know if you can see that, but I can go ongoing, tap that, and I go right back to my navigation. So on the iPhone, where I'm here, I'm in maps, I have to go out of the application, switch to what I want, we'll open this, switch to what I want, then if I want to go back to apps, I go back to maps rather, I tap maps, I go back. In this, I simply hit home, say, yep, get what I want here. Uh, yep, I checked my news, drop this down, and I'm back. And it doesn't stop running. You don't have to go back to anything else. It's, it's just much more convenient, a better way to do it, I think. Um, it is going to suck your battery dry a little bit quicker, but still, um, I don't see a problem as far as battery life in this. Um, 
there are some things, like I said, that are better on the iPhone than the, the, the My Touch, and vice versa. This could be a little bit faster, and as as technology progresses, I'm sure we'll see that, um, especially if Google is releasing their phone. But I mean, as far as the best looking uh, Android phone, probably one you can get very reasonable, especially if you're on T-Mobile. Um, you don't even have to sign a contract, you can buy it outright. It is expensive that way. So buy it on eBay. This is, uh, they're around $200 on eBay. Um, if you, that's what the contract price you get. Or if, I think they're 150 now if you buy, buy them on contract. Without a contract, spend a couple hundred dollars or spend $50 more, get it on eBay, and, not, and don't pay a contract. So if something else comes out, sell this, get something else. A uh, great way to do that in, um, this is really a nice phone. Like I said, the three, it doesn't have 3G, but the edge connection is really fast on it, and I can show you that next time. So this is Aaron with Zolotech. We'll see you next time.